So in this video, we're going to cover adding Poisson distributions. So if we have two Poisson distributions, x and y, where x has parameter lambda and y has parameter mu, and where x and y are independent, then what we can say is, is that x plus y has a Poisson distribution of parameter lambda plus mu. And this is true where x and y must both model events occurring within the same interval of time or space. Okay, so we'll work through example one. Now we're given that x and y are independent random variables, and because they're independent, we can use this property here. And x is such an art that it is distributed with a Poisson with a parameter 4.2, and y is a Poisson with parameter 3.8. So because they're independent, we can define x plus y as being distributed with a Poisson of lambda 8. The 8 is from adding these two together. So for part a, the probability of x plus y being less than or equal to 9. So because it's less than or equal to 9, we can use the Poisson CD function on our calculator. So this is the cumulative distribution. Okay, We covered that in a previous video. So, on our class width calculator, we can use Poisson CD. We'll choose x is equal to 9, this is our variable, and our parameter lambda is equal to 8. When we enter these two on our calculators, we get a probability of being less than or equal to 9 of 0 0.7166. Okay, so for part b, the probability of x plus y being less than 8. So to understand how to work this out using the cumulative distribution, we're going to list the outcomes from 0 to 10. And because we're looking for less than 8 as our observed value, we can go up to and including 7. So this is the same as x plus y being less than or equal to 7, which we can now use our cumulative distribution for. So again, we want plus on cd, now we want x to be equal to 7 and lambda to be equal to 8. And this gives us a probability of 0 0.4530. Okay, so for part C, the probability of x plus y being greater than 10. So I'm going to list the outcomes up to 13. Okay, so if we're looking at the observed value being greater than 10, we're looking at being greater than or equal to 11. This is the same as all of them, which is 1 minus the probability of x plus y being less than or equal to 10. So all of them take away these observed values. So we can work this out. We'll define x as equal to 10, lambda is equal to 8, and we get 1 minus 0 0.8159. When we work this out on our calculators, we get a probability of 0 0.1841. OK, let's try the next question. OK, so for example 2, we're given a Poisson distribution with a parameter 4.6, models the number of cats rescued by an animal shelter each day and a Poisson distribution with parameter 4.4 independently, and this is important, models the number of dogs rescued by an animal shelter each day. And we're asked to work out the probability that on a randomly selected day, the shelter rescues six or less animals in total. Okay, so this independently is important because now we can use this property. So we need to define our two random variables. We can say let x be the random variable, the number of cats rescued each day, and let y be the random variable, the number of dogs rescued each day. So now that we've defined what x and y are, we can define our new distribution as x plus y is distributed with a Poisson of average 9. So a 9 is from adding these two parameters together. So for part a, the probability of x plus y being less than or equal to 6. So again, we're going to use the cumulative distribution 
because of this symbol here. So we're looking at all the outcomes up to and including 6. So we use path on CD, where x is equal to 6 and lambda is equal to 9. And this will give us 0 0.2068. So for part b, now we want the probability of x plus y being less than 5. And this is the same as the probability of x plus y being less than or equal to 4. So on our calculators, we'll define x is equal to 4 and lambda is equal to 9. And we get the probability 0 0.0550. So finally, for part c, we want more than three animals in total. So the probability of x plus y being greater than 3. Well, if we make a list of the possible outcomes, we can have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and going on. And what we want is greater than 3. So all of these, well, this is the same as 1. So it is certain that we'll get an outcome or no outcomes minus the probability of x plus y being less than or equal to 3. So on our calculators, x will be equal to 3, lambda is again 9, so we have 1 minus 0 0.0212, which gives us a probability of 0.9788. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.